Hello Pisces, Elsie here to do your reading for the week ahead, my friends. How are you? Thank you so much for clicking here. I appreciate you. Uh, we are going to look at some uh, oracles first, as we do, right? I like to combine the energies here. We're going to look at some oracles first, and then we're going to throw some tarot at it, see what we come up with for you for the week ahead. Uh, for my two uh, vicious friends, my Pisces gang, thank you so much for showing up here. I appreciate all the support you bring to this platform. I am your Pisces moon sister. Thank you so much for being here. All right, let's figure it out. Let's find out what's going on. What are the energies for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the week ahead? Whenever you find this reading, it's always going to be for the week ahead. These are always going to be predictions for you. Whether uh, you have the bell button pushed in and you know that this is coming today, or if you find it sometime in the future, welcome, welcome. If you are a brand, brand new, spanking brand new Pisces. All right, here we go. We got to Harmony. Harmony in this deck is the lovers, my friends. So we show up with... Um, Two people who, it feels like there is a connection here. I want to say that you know each other, probably. And, um, I mean, we'll keep drawing cards. We can't tell the whole thing on one card. But it looks like two people who are very meant for each other, uh, whether you know them or not. Uh, we do have <clears throat> New Beginning. It's a brand new person. So, for some of you, it's a brand, brand new person. Uh, fresh out the box. <laughs> right? Something brand new, Pisces. And uh, for others of you, it could be somebody that you already know, but you will be having a new beginning with them. And whether you've dated them or not, I guess we'll find out with uh, a little more cards and a little more tarot. Let's find out here. Tell me about Pisces, please. Pisces, your readings are always so good. Like, they're always so clear. I don't know if it's because we're connecting that way, um, but your, your readings are always so very clear to me. And it's not like they aren't with the other readings, too, but sometimes it gets a little complex and, and I have to work around the cards. But with your, your energy, it never happens that way. Look at that. Look at this. Harmony, new beginnings, and accelerated motion. This is the Eight of Wands. <laughs> this is the Fool, and this is the Lovers. I mean, we could just drop the deck right here. <laughs> Let's just not pull any more cards. It looks lovely. <laughs> All right. We have the waiting game. So this is something you've been waiting for. So for some of you, you do know this person already, or you've been waiting for a new connection to come into your life. And that could be with the new beginnings. This is, this is the Fool energy here. The accelerated motion to me is the Eight of Wands. And uh, I feel like it's going to start moving really quickly for you. So whether this person is a brand new person in your life or not, I feel like you've been waiting for a connection like this for a long time. But I think it was in the patience and planning situation. I feel like it was being planned by the universe and you had to be patient. And uh, I think you have been up to here. Let's find out. This is going to be for the week ahead. We're going to throw some tarot at it. But first, I'm going to pull some of these cards here. This is the um, all, um, what's it called? The Sign of the Times Oracle. And this is going to be the energy that is after Valentine's Day. So, of course, Valentine's Day being on the Wednesday, um, this is for the week ahead, right? So it's going to be for that week ahead. This is going to be for the week uh, further to that. So let's take a quick peek into what's going to come up uh, after next week. Let's take a look here. Tell me what, uh, give us a peek of what's coming up next week, after next week. We do have um, never give up. So we have motivational phrases. For some of you, um, I feel like you could be a person who likes to share that with people. Uh, we've got card number 24, which is six. That is reciprocity energy. And it is also, you know, it's about encouragement, right? Encouragement, refocus. And that's why we have uh, never give up, right? That's uh, sixes are always encouraging you to push along to the 10, right? So we have uh, motivational phrases. Some of you maybe are meme sharers. Maybe you're you're the person who likes to share memes and uh, things that uplift you. You're hoping that they will uplift other people. But it's an indication to never give up because things are about to move really quickly in your direction here. We have good luck coins. Interesting. Card number 10, which breaks down to a one. Ones are the beginning of something. We do have um, 11 cents here. So uh, you might be seeing 11s, 11, 11. You might be seeing ones consecutively. Um, I, I feel like for some of you, uh, if if this for you is around the corner, I feel like you're, you're finding random coins. For some of you, it could be pennies. Could be dimes and pennies, but I think it's it's something that's rare. So either it's a rare coin, you pick it up and you see it's from like 1924, or you know it's it feels like it's a <clears throat> it's a very rare coin. And for some of you, you might be finding them in pairs. You might be finding like 11 cents and 11 cents, or 12 cents and 12 cents. But it says that whenever you do find it, it's good luck, and it's telling you that there's something new that's around the corner, which I believe this is what we're talking about. We have hope. That card's been coming out all week. I think for most of the. Sun 
signs that came out. Rainbows also might be another sign for you, my friend. Um, we do have uh, hope rainbows. And if you are someone who is familiar with any sort of biblical um, connotations of a rainbow, you'll know that the rainbows in the Bible always came up and signified that a hard time was over. That it's, um, you can now have hope because things are about to get better for you, my friend. I like it, like it a lot. All right. Let's see what's going on here. Let's throw some tarot at it here. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Pisces, I should tell you right now that I do have a sale on right now. If you're interested in a private reading, you want to try that. There is a 10% sale on. 10% off all of my readings over at Wizio. If you click on the more link below this video, you will get a link to Wizio. You'll also see a code, um, a code that you'll have to take for your 10% off over to Wizio. So um, the prices that you see posted there, you will have 10% off those prices at checkout. All right, here we go. Tell me about harmony, please. What does Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter need to know about harmony, please? About the lover's card. You're going to have to probably make some sort of a choice here. But I mean, you know, love is a choice, right? Being with someone is a choice. Being harmonious is a choice. Okay, so it looks like, it feels like somebody feels that they are fighting for your passions. That, that they are, um, they feel like there is a lot of... Um, opportunity around you that you, there might be a little bit of competition for your for your um, energy of love possibly we do have the five of wands here it's also indecision so for some of you when this person does come forward you might be a little bit cynical giving it the side eye just a little bit and it's okay to be a bit cynical right it's it's actually great to be a bit cynical so i feel like for some of you, if this is someone you already know, and it won't be for all of you because this is a general reading, but I am getting the energy and so I have to say it. The energy is for those of you who are thinking that, have a feeling that you have a knowing, right? The Piscean knowing, you know it. <laughs> and um, you know you know if you know. And uh, if this is somebody who you feel is coming back here, I feel like this person has been in indecision about whether to reach out to you or not because they don't know if you're already dating someone. This person does feel like you are the mirror image though. They feel like there is something very sacred about their union with you, something very sacred, and they're willing to fight for it. But I also feel like that they've been fighting themselves about coming forward. Tell me about the new beginnings, please, for Pisces. We have the Hermit. Okay, so new beginnings come out of nowhere. I'm going to say out of nowhere, there's some sort of a new beginning. And maybe you don't expect it because you're not focused on it. And I think that's why it comes in, whether it's a new person or someone from the past. You are not focused on it. You are actually focused on yourself. That's what we do in Hermit mode, right? In Hermit mode, we are um, we are there for self-preservation reasons. We stop maybe communicating so much with people around us. We stop taking in information from the world. Maybe you're not really watching TV. TV, maybe you've got your phone off at a certain time at night, 7 p.m., and you're not taking any calls during that time. It feels like someone here is engaged in finding their light or finding answers because we do have the star energy here. Well, thinking about the wish fulfillment, this might be your time of meditation, but it does feel like with the hermit energy here, Virgo energy, that, um, that it does feel like you are... You are spending time alone, um, not necessarily holed up in your home, but I feel like you are spending more time alone than you usually would. And I think it's because it's almost like it's preparing you for this new beginning. It's like the calm before the storm. The new beginnings card is Aries to me because it is the fool. Uh, the harmony card is Gemini to me. So you could be dealing with any of those energies. Now we have Virgo here. Tell me about what's about to speed up for Pisces, please, in the week ahead. What's about to speed up here? Accelerated motion see a shooting star oh i said a shooting star and the star came up very interesting <laughs> so um the uh it, it could be a shooting star it doesn't really look like this energy is coming from the moon but it feels like somebody's wishing upon a star i want to say and here's the star the star is right here and it's also in this lantern right that the uh hermit does carry the energy of the star i want to say that What's about to pick up is your wish fulfillments coming in, my friend, and it's about good luck. Now, I, I don't subscribe to luck, but I do because um, I, I feel the universe is way too organized to just let random things happen like that. I really feel like everything is planned. So I feel like if you are the one that is finding money or you're the one that's finding coins, old coins, um, I feel like uh, that this is a sign that your wish fulfillment is just around the corner and it's about to come in. All right. Tell me about the Five of Wands, please. Tell me about Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about the Five of Wands for Pisces, please.
We have the Queen of Swords. Someone's about to speak out. Someone is about to liberate themselves here. And I think that's how how this happens, how this uh, this thing that happens out of nowhere. It feels like somebody here feels as though they need to liberate themselves. And um, they're about to stand up and take a chance. Because the Five of Wands is telling them that maybe you're dating someone, but somebody here needs to speak out loud. And it's going to be a very head over heart communication that you get. It's going to be, so what do you do now? Or, hey, what's up? Or, you know what I mean? It's going to be very, it's not going to be um, anything that's romantic. You're not going to have a hint of an energy that this is a romantic connection. We do have the Fool. Oh, yeah. So I feel like with the Queen of Swords and the Fool that somebody is taking a, a chance. This person is taking a chance that they might be, be making a total fool out of themselves that they might be turned down the door might be slammed in their face but they're doing it anyway i see the fool in the reverse as being brave but also being <laughs> a, a little brave and crazy oh yeah that's a song right melissa etheridge sings that song brave and crazy i love that song and so it feels like somebody here who doesn't usually take risks like this it feels like somebody is ready to um to be made a fool of. They don't care. They're going for broke here. Somebody doesn't care. If they can call me a fool, I don't care. I need to find out if there is competition. Is this person dating anybody else? Wow. The tower. There it is. That's the upheaval. It's the change in the realization. Somebody here is like, I don't really care. I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm sending the text. I'm sending them uh, flowers and a bottle of wine to their door with a note. Or I'm I'm going to show some sort of grand display. That's what it feels like with, with the tower and the fool here. It feels like somebody's about to shake the earth. They're going to do some sort of grand display of affection. And they don't really care if they look stupid doing it. Um, but it feels like it's going to be done from a distance, I want to say. Like, it doesn't feel like they show up at your door. It feels like it's going to be a text, or it's going to be a delivery, or something like that. And um, because this person realizes now, I think, that you are what they want. You have all of the things that they're looking for. Um, we could be talking about a Scorpio, an Aries, or a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. All right. Tell me about this new beginning here because I feel like you're in hermit mode when the new beginning comes. You're minding your business, staying in your lane, making your money, your nose is to the grindstone. You're doing the things that are best for you, your solitude. You're doing the best uh, to keep your Zen energy. We have uh, the King of Coins. So yeah, you've got your, you're very focused on your 3D life. So you're very focused on work. If you have a business, because the King of Coins can be a business owner. If you, um, it feels like you are very focused on the 3D world, on the money that you're making, possibly. It feels like you're really focused on your abundance. So I feel like you're not looking at anyone around you. And the Hermit Mode maybe isn't intentional for you, Pisces. I feel like what it is, is that you're so focused on your pentacle world and your money, um, making money building your uh, wealth i feel that it's to the exclusion of everything else that's what it feels like here uh, we do have the magician so i'm going to say that you are very focused you are using i want to say you're using all of the all of the tools that you've been given from the universe you are using all of those tools to I'm going to say world domination that you're you're it feels like that it feels because the king the king of um, pentacles is the one who doesn't really have to look for opportunity right that person's already got the Midas touch and then you add the magician <laughs> you add the magician talents capabilities right you have um, you're you're tapped into your full potential you're like in the zone I want to say so you're not really you're not really waiting for new beginnings you're not really waiting for anything you're very focused because the hermit is that very spiritually focused very focused on self very focused on all of the details going over what's going on in their life and i think you are very focused in going over the details of your financials and you're about to i want to say if, if you're the person who does have a business your business is about to take off because i think that the with with um showing the universe that you are the magician i understand my worth now i understand that whatever i want wants me i feel like you're a master manifester i want to say we do have the strength card and so I feel like, yeah, you're holding back from the rest of the world, I want to say, that you're practicing taming the beast. And I think that the beast is world domination. 
<laughs> and when I say that, I think that you're building an empire. And I know it sounds very dramatic, but I feel like if you are someone who is working in the matrix or you're in the corporate world that you're thinking and dreaming about um, how to get get ahead, get a higher position, uh, because the King of Pentacles is somebody that someone's going to hire like that. That person is a manifester, a leader, solid, grounded, always on time, dependable. And if you're a business owner, I feel like I feel like just the same that things are about to get really good for you. And I feel like you're you're stronger than you've ever been. I want to say more courageous than you've ever been because you've got the magician and the king of, of pentacles at your back. I think that's really lovely. Tell me about accelerated motion and the star because I think that you've been waiting really long for something. And whether it's money, your pentacle world, a new house, a new car, whatever it is, or if it's a person, um, take it as it resonates for you. I always say these readings are your perception. I'm just dropping the cards, right? So whatever it is for you here, uh, you could be waiting on an Aquarius possibly, but I do believe that it's wish fulfillment that you're waiting on. Wishing on a star, things start to move quickly and, and shows up Leo. There's Leo. <laughs> yeah, Leo does move quickly. They're all about go, 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 go. Yeah, they move pretty Pretty quick so we do have um i want to say that this is your indication that you're almost there that you're almost across the finish line that whatever you've been manifesting if it is love or if it's a new home or a new job or you want to get out of your nine to fiver to to um, make a, a business of some sort this is your indication that you're almost there and this is uh this is um victory after the fight so i feel like working up to here or getting up to here has been quite arduous for you it's been a hard journey everything that's come to kill you has only made you stronger and here you are in the star energy your wish fulfillment is coming in with victory and that's why things are about to pick up and then we do have the eight of wands that shows out so we do have um energy that's starting to move really quickly why is this energy moving so quickly for pisces please because there is some sort of an invitation coming in, my friend. It feels like there's celebration and happiness and drinks are overflowing and someone's inviting you out maybe to see live music or... Um, or uh, to meet up with friends. Maybe someone's having a get-together at their home. Um, you, somebody might be reaching out to you, right? With the Eight of Wands and the Three of Cups, it tells me that, that things are about to get quick and that maybe your your um, social world is about to open up. As long as you say yes, it's always about you, right? You have to be able to say yes to those opportunities in order to have them come forward. But I think you're open because we do have accelerated motion and the star. I think you're open to whatever may come. Tell me about the uh, third week of February here, please for Pisces what's going on here we have some happy motivational fun things that are coming up reciprocity possibly with a new beginning tell me what's coming here we have the page of swords so it feels like you're about to learn something that you didn't know and I want to say that keep your this is the one who is the one who is gathering knowledge right this one is very open-minded because they're a child and children are generally very malleable in their mind right they will take in the um energy and um they will think on it right this person uh this child here has two swords on the pillow if you'll see so possibly um Possibly you're being very scrutinizing. Um, maybe you're a little bit of a cynic, I want to say, at things that are going on. And I think, like I said, I think that that's great. We do have the hanged man here. And uh, the hanged man is about possibly thinking that you might have to make a sacrifice. It's a little bit of self-sacrificing energy, but it also is feeling a little bit stuck. So you might be stuck in the mind or waiting for something to happen, waiting for something um, to figure itself out, knowledge, thinking about something that you've come across here it's almost like you're going to have some sort of an aha moment while you're in the hanged man energy looking at something from a different perspective that perspective or that perspective you're trying to see it from someone else's perspective here and we have the king of wands so i want to say that um yeah it's it's about being inspired to step forward the king of wands is aries sagittarius leo it does feel like you are going to get some sort of an invitation it could be from this person but we also have aquarius energy here we have pisces we have a more aquarius energy here we have leo leo is here we have uh, taurus virgo capricorn energy we have aries we have scorpio more aries energy libra Gem gemini aquarius 
so much of this energy is all over the place, right? I want to say in the third week, it looks like you're going to come upon some information that maybe you were not open to seeing before because the two swords are on the pillow, but this is the student. Something you weren't open to seeing before, you will see because you've been in the hanged man energy. It feels like you have a different eye or you're looking at somebody differently than you've seen them before. They could be someone who's a fire sign. They could have fire in the chart. Take it as it resonates. Tell me more about the king of wands, please. This is the one. This is all, all, of the, uh, all of the beans in the jar at the fair. You guessed them right. <laughs> That's what it looks like. It feels like somebody here is showing up who is very passionate about you, incredibly good looking. You're very attracted to them. They're very attracted to you. They are very abundant. Look, we have the 10 here on this card of good luck, which is also a 10. It feels like they're, it's 10-10 right? And if that is an angel number for you, you might want to look that up. 1010 10 means that whatever you've been manifesting is about to come around. So it is abundance. It is somebody who's bringing the abundance, whether this is a love connection or not. But I feel like you haven't been open to this person until now. And now you're showing the universe, look, I'm ready. I'm ready to move forward. And if you're ready to move forward, that's when the universe drops the tower on the other person and says, it's time for you to go. It's so very intricately woven in here. Uh, we do have the Seven of Swords. Why? Because of the moon. Interesting. So it's something that you don't see. Things are not as they seem. So if you've decided that somebody isn't coming to find you or that love will never find you, you're wrong. I'm going to say you can't see what's coming and something is hiding under the surface here. It is something that is of a reciprocal nature. We do have uh, the Six of Pentacles here. So we do have, um, it feels like it feels like somebody is about to give to you more than they're giving to anyone else, but you don't see it. We do have Pisces and Cancer energy here. All right, we're going to leave that right there. I'm going to leave this right here. We do have the devil here. It's going to make this new beginning here is going to make you a little bit fearful. You're going to be cynical. You're going to be a, a little bit feeling in, in doubt, feeling like, mm, I don't know. I've I don't know what to do here like it feels like it's it's like you've been hurt so much in the past ten of swords you've been hurt so much that I feel like you are feeling very cynical when this shows up because it seems too good to be true but what I want to say is we have harmony in the corner here and there we are the king and the queen of wands. So whether or not you're dealing with a fire sign, it does not matter. I feel like there's an incredible charismatic attraction here. You're not going to be able to ignore it and neither are they. All right. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you, Pisces, for coming here. I, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please let me know in the comments. Thank you for your thumbs up and all the ways you support um, the Water Tribe on this channel. I'm going to go for now. Love you guys. Bye-bye.